Today we'll be taking a look at the Yakima Rack and Roll Trailer 66 inch, part number Y08106. This is also available with 78 inch crossbars or part number Y08107. The premium lightweight sports trailer is the perfect way to haul your bikes, water sport racks, cargo baskets, or cargo boxes using the integrated adjustable 66 inch crossbars as anchor points. The pull behind roof rack hauls 250 pounds and conveniently stores in your garage. Today on our Yakima Rack and Roll, we have a kayak and a kayak carrier, our bike, and our cargo box all loaded up. The trailer itself has a 250 pound capacity, so you can pick and choose a combination of Yakima accessories and gear to load on your Yakima trailer. One of the great features about the Yakima Rack and Roll is that it has a lower loading height, so no more lifting gear over your head onto your vehicle. The frame is made from a lightweight aluminum, so it's gonna be very easy to store and maneuver around. The locking system is also gonna help deter theft. This is a premium trailer, so it has automotive grade finish and custom cast alloy wheels. With the trailer unloaded, we'll go ahead and take you through some more features and specifications. Here at the front, you're gonna notice that we have a coupler with a trigger latch system. That's gonna allow us to engage or disconnect from our two inch hitch ball. It's also got a little hole right here, that way we can install a coupler pin or a coupler lock. You can find those on our website. They're gonna be sold separately. It's gonna use a standard four pole flat adapter to connect to your tow vehicle. The coupler is going to measure off the ground about 19 inches from the ground to the bottom of our coupler. A coupler is going to feature a two inch wide coupler tongue. We're also going to have a safety chain hookup. That way we can hook it to our vehicle to ensure that if we were to become disconnected from the tow vehicle, this is going to come into play and it's going to keep the trailer close by until we have time to stop and fix the issue. It's also got a nice carrying handle. That way we can disconnect the trailer, and then we can have more function to maneuver it to where we need to go. We've got the extended tongue here. It's gonna to allow a lot of distance between the actual trailer and the back of our tow vehicle. It's also gonna feature a safety lock system. There's a little groove in the tongue that the safety lock system engages. So we stick the key in, move it to an unlocked position. It's gonna allow us to open up that lever. In that case, we'd be able to slide the tongue back into the trailer. We'll show you that a little bit later when we move it to a stored position. Coming back here at the back of the tongue, we have another four pole that's gonna come out. This is gonna to connect to the light assembly on our trailer. All the wires are ran inside the tongue of the trailer, so they're gonna be hidden, except for the connection points. Those are all gonna be exposed. This trailer is gonna feature two 66 inch crossbars. These are adjustable simply by loosening up the bolts and the nuts, and then you can slide them in the channel to whatever distance that you need to haul your accessories. So up here, we're gonna have the lights, two lights up here, marker lights, side marker lights. We have a nice fender that's gonna protect the wheel. It's also gonna protect the gear that we're hauling from anything, road debris uh, flying up and hitting our gear. We got two lights here on the fender, one on the side, and we got one on the rear. Down here at our tire, it has a nice five spoke design. This hub can easily be removed. That way, if you ever need to uh, change your tire or get the spare on there, you can easily gain access uh, to the hardware that you need to take off to remove the tire from its current location. The tire size is gonna be 3.25-1655P. It is a nylon grade tire, it has a nice tread design, so it is gonna provide good traction in wet and dry conditions. You can also see on this side that we have shocks those are gonna absorb the different bumps, and say if we hit a pothole with our gear loaded, it's gonna take any of that cushion out from damaging our gear. Also, here at the rear, I wanna show you this last thing. We have a license plate holder and a license plate light. Uh, the license plate light is faced the right direction. It's intended to shine back towards the license plate bar. That way it'll illuminate a license plate so it can easily be read. One of the great features about the Yakima Rack and Roll is its ability to be moved to a stored position. A few little steps that we need to do before we can move it to a stored position. We need to open up our lever, remove our safety pin, and then we need to undo our four-way connection. Now we can take the extended part of our trailer, slide it, into the slot.
and then we can move it up against our wall and push it up into a stored position. Now with it in this position, it has wheels here on the bottom. That's going to allow us to gain access to lateral movement. That way we can still have maneuverability of the trailer, even with it in a stored position. You can also use the crossbar system to easily hang this up on your wall as well. And we're gonna unhook our trailer, show you how easy this handle can be used. With our trailer fully weighed down, we have full access to maneuver it any way that we need to. The handle also comes into play for an easy hookup. With our gear all loaded up, we're gonna take it out on our test course and show you how it performs. We're gonna take it through our slalom course, which is gonna offer some side-to-side -side movement, giving you the real-life example of making quick turns or going around curves. And as we make our corner, we're gonna hit our alternating bumps course. This is gonna show you the side-to-side -side movement and simulation of hitting potholes. And then we're gonna go through our solid bumps course which is gonna give you an example of how this would perform going in and out of parking lots or going over speed bumps. That's gonna do it for today's review of the Yakima Rack and Roll Trailer 66 inch bars, part number Y08106.